least in heaven I can skate. Hey there everyone, uh, Chad Sinclair here, proud owner of the only Surrey skate shop, a community board shop located in Newton. So I thought I'd uh, set this board up, but I'm actually going to film it to show you guys. Um, for example, uh, Buddy wanted a birdhouse, Lizzie Armanto, so I ended up getting that custom ordered for him. Went and picked that up, gave him a really good deal, custom ordered the new uh, Bones Easy Streets, uh, also got those right there that I custom ordered for him. Also got some Aaron Jaws Homoki hardware and some mini logo trucks. This was all custom ordered uh, through the shop. Uh, mind you guys, if you guys want a certain brand, a certain image or board, I can custom order things for you guys and get them within the next couple days to a week. So I'm going to be setting this up and I thought I'd show you guys. Oh, and mind you, I also got some mob grip. So uh, let's set it up. Brand new Bones Easy Street 52. Of course, we're going to use skate rated red bones bearings. Aaron Jaws Moki. Got to support the bro, Aaron Jaws. Got some really nice mini logo trucks here with the green bushings. Very nice. And here's the Lizzie Armanto board. This is really nice. The squirrel pouring a cup of juice. Birdhouse. Has a really nice graphic. Really nice design. And of course, Birdhouse and the mob group tape. So let's uh, set it up. Alright, so first things first. I guess I should do the grip on this thing. And we'll do the grip tape. Fairly simple. This is how you uh, set up a skateboard, by the way. Don't do this at home. <laughs> or actually do it at home. <laughs> Don't try this at home! Bring it to your local skate shop. And mind you, if you do buy a skateboard from a skate shop and they don't want to set it up or grip it or do any of this, then they're not actually a legit skate shop because they should have to put the board together for you, in front of you, show you that it's all good. Because if not, then they're not legit skateboard shop or skaters. Because if they can't grip a board or even put it together properly, then what the heck are they even doing owning a skate shop? You know, or they gotta hire some people on to do it. That's why you gotta support your local core skate shops because this shop, for example, is skater owned and skater run, everything. And I'm trying to give back to you guys, locals, as best as I can. So just keep in mind, if you guys want to deal in your local, I'll hook you up, or even if you're not, I can still mail it or ship it. We just gotta figure out the shipping cost if you wanna pay for it. So basically you put the grip down, you try to flatten it out as much as possible, smooth those air bubbles out as much as possible, you don't want any bubbles, pop it down, then what you want to do is get a tool and kind of scrape the edge. As you can see here, you're going to score, it's called scoring, you're going to score the edge all the way around, so we're going to do it all the way around. You could use a skate truck, a tool, anything really. Proper skateboarders at a shop would use a file, but I don't have a file. So you're going to want to do that all the way around. Alright, now that you're done scoring, it should look like something like this. Uh, on the other side, it should have, you know, your grip tape kind of sticking out like that. And what you're going to do now is take a razor blade and you're going to cut a little groove like this. And a groove here. And what that does is just allows like a clean slice. What you're going to want to do is try to use a clean razor. Just do one slice like so while holding the grip tape and pulling it up. So it's easier when you're doing little segments like this instead of having to try to do the whole board and then what you're going to do is while you're cutting it you're going to pull up with the grip tape and slice so it allows it to go a lot easier. As you can see there I cut that. I'm going to do the other side here. Do a little slice, a little notch 
little groove, get that razor in there, pull up, slice it, and pull at the same time, and bam, nice clean cut, as you can see there, nice and smooth, and now what we're going to do is the nose and the tail, and what you're going to want to do with that is pretty much just cut one slice there, and you can go either way, but same thing, pull, help guide it, guide the, 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 the razor as well as the grip tape when you're pulling up, and it does a nice cut, as you can see. So we'll do the other side here quickly. It helps when you're actually holding the grip and pulling it up at the same time to get a nice cut, nice smooth even cut rather than uh, a chunky one. So there's the nose, tail, tail. <laughs> and now we're gonna do the nose, same thing, just cut one little slice and go back from the bottom, slice and work your way up doesn't have to be perfect because it will get damaged eventually anyways because you are skateboarding and the other side like I said you want to help with the, the razor blade helps if you have a clean razor blade by the way one that you haven't used to do this before you always want to want you to use clean razor blades new razor blades and after you're done cutting it should look something like this so now that you have your board all gripped, mob grip, really nice, uh, it's all nice and smooth. As you can see, there's a little bit of a lip, which is what you want around the side. And now what you're going to do is take your hardware. Well, in this case, I got Bros, Bolts, Aaron Jaws, Moki, because I like to support skaters and buy the brands that, you know, the skateboarders and stuff. Because Aaron Jaws, if you buy this, Aaron Jaws gets a percent back. So. I like to support people that I, I like skateboarding and stuff, so you got a cool little thumbs up sticker. I'll leave that for Buddy. Uh, they got cool. It's really nice. I like Aaron Jaws' hardware. He's got blue, yellow, and red. And what's nice about that is you can put two blues, two yellow, two blues, and two reds, and use the red or the yellow to signal which one's the nose or tail. So what you're going to want to do is just literally just take your hardware, put it like that, and poke it through. And while you're poking it through, what I would suggest doing, I'll show you here on this one, is when you put it through the hole and you go to poke it through the grip tape, is to try to hold it down a little bit. As you can see, the, it's gonna press through right there. And you just push a little bit harder, and bam, it pops through. And then you just press it back down, and there you go. And that's how you do your hardware holes. And you just do that for all four, so quickly do that. Do, do, do. I find this is the easiest way to do the hardware, just poking it through like that. Mind you, it might get stuck because the grip does get stuck to it after a while because you're using that hardware to poke through. You could use um, an old piece of hardware to do it, it doesn't really matter. You're just getting it through and you're going to be screwing it through anyways. I'm just gonna pop these. Actually, this will probably be easier. Pop all four and then pop them back through the other way afterwards. So you pop all four, pop them all through, and then press back down this way to get them back out. There you go. You gotta use that force. Use the skateboard force. So yeah, use the hardware to poke the holes through. And now that the holes are done, you can actually mount your trucks so what you're going to want to do, let's see here, that's the nose, that's the tail. So we're going to put nose, tail. Uh, I, he's not here, the guy isn't here to actually find out which yellow or red for nose or tail. So I'm just going to decide on my decision for him on which one he should have. I'm going to probably put, uh, let's see here, should I do red or yellow as the front? Honestly, I don't think it really matters. I think I'll probably put red. Whatever's more brighter, I think. Let's see here, what's more brighter? Uh, the gold, the gold will be the front. That way he knows gold. Gold is the nose. So you pop those in like so. You can just finger do it, and then grab your little hardware and finger tighten it just for the time being. So I'll show you, give you guys a different camera angle. So for example, 
you just kind of put them through and just hand tighten these uh, the nuts on the bolts. You don't need to tighten them right away because you got to do your other truck and then you're going to get your tool to do it. So you just kind of hand do those just to get them on, just to get them in place so you know what it looks like. All right, there you got the truck on. You can kind of see where it's going to look like, like that. We're going to do the other truck, get that one on, and then we'll tighten it all up. You can, tight, you can tighten them up one at a time. You can do them both at the same time. Just got to remember blue is on the inside. Hey, what's up, man? Hey, what's up? Not much, just putting your board together. Awesome. Speak of the devil. That's what I'm doing right now, actually. Actually filming it, too. Just gonna make a YouTube video for it. Oh, <laughs> uh, looks sick, though. Yeah, I'm putting it together slowly. I didn't know which one you wanted for the tail, for yellow or red, so I put yellow for the nose. Oh, that's fine. Yeah, I figured it was the brightest, so it would probably signal a little bit better for you. Bushings as well? Yeah, those are the bushings, the soft ones. Soft ones? Yeah, oh. if you want to swap them over after, you can. Yeah, I can do that. You can just try these out. They might be soft enough for you as it is. Let me just hand tighten these. Let's see here. Get that on. It's pretty dope how the bushings on this and the deck. Kind of match. Yeah, I know the colors. <laughs> even the the hardware, I thought even matched. Even with the the wheels, the colors and stuff. I didn't even try to match it, but it just <laughs> by luck I just matched it. So now all you do is you get your skate tool, your Phillips or whatever, and you just tighten it up. And what I would recommend doing is if you're going to tighten it to do a crisscross pattern. So what you're going to do is tighten one slowly, then the next 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 but you're gonna do it snug uh -huh. and then you're gonna after then go back through again and tighten it a lot harder so you're gonna do a little bit so it gets snug do the crisscross pattern yeah just to snug it up and then once they're all snug then you go back do another crisscross but then really tighten it up you can also yeah. poke holes through the grip with you uh, your screwdriver skate. or whatnot yeah but, skate tool, yeah. yeah there we go let me snug this one up kind of do like a crisscross, snug them up so they're just kind of just tightening up a bit yeah and then once they get a little snug then you go back and then really crank them in mm -hmm. so now that they're snug now I'll crank them in and if you want you can actually crank them into the point where the screw actually starts to suck into the board uh -huh. so I'm gonna do all that and we'll get it back okay so that one's completely done yeah. completely on you see that some of them kind of snuck down a bit, which is good. You want it so it's nice and sturdy. I want the, so the top screws sink in a little Yeah, bit. just sink in just a tiny bit. You want it so it's nice and snug. You don't want them to loosen out or when you're skating, because it's going to, you, when you skate, there's going to be so much vibration yeah. that your nuts always do loosen. So you always want to double check them. Okay. Even though nobody does. <laughs> no. uh, maybe I should keep it in mind, but. <laughs> yeah, because uh, I've skated and I've lost, like you lose hardware. Mm -hmm. And that's because you just don't check them. So now we got the Reds, Bones, Bearings, trucks are on. Yep. Time to do the wheels, brand new, just came out. And also the Reds, Bearings, so we're gonna do that. It's red sticker, of course we all love stickers. Stickers are cool. Yep, instruction things, don't care for instructions. And then the bearings. And then we got the Easy Street, brand new wheels. They just made those, so I'm gonna check. Yeah, these are brand new, they just came in. Mm -hmm. I uh, When I went down to pick them up, uh, they couldn't find them because they were just, they just literally just came in. Oh, well, look at that, and you get a nice bone sticker too. Hell nice yeah. double stickers. And that's just advertising. 52. Do you want all this? Yeah. Okay. I'm not sure. <laughs> Sorry if I'm I don't damaging it. <laughs> Give you all your packaging back. So we got uh, the Bones Easy Streets. Uh, these are 52s. And yeah, let's get her done. All the bearings out. Bearings are fairly simple to do. You just drop it in there and then you slam the wheel on. Yeah. So basically what you're gonna do is take that off. Leave one of the washers on. You're gonna take your wheel and a bearing. You're gonna slightly hand press it in, like so. 
so we'll push it down and then just kind of push it in and then it pops in. Can I get it so the graphics are on the inside? Yep. And then you just do the same with the other one. Kind of hand, finger, push it in if you can. Mm-hmm. And then you just put it down and then pop it in and it's it's in. Oh, sweet. And that's all you do. And then you want graphics in. Pop the graphics in. Put your washer back over top. Take your nut. Put it on top. You can just do a little hand. And then tighten with your tool. But mind you, what I like to do is have a little bit of a free. I like to have it a little bit free. What so happens if it's a little free there? I just find it smooth. It just spins a lot faster. Oh, well, nice. If it's if it has that little bit of a, a wiggle room, a little bit of a wiggle room, I find personally, you can get faster. It lasts longer. It's just preference to me. Mm -hmm. But if you tighten it too much, it doesn't have that free spin. Mm -hmm. Like you can, but it's just I, I find that if you have just a little bit of that wiggle, it's nice. Okay. It's all preference. You could try it with a little bit of wiggle, and yeah. if not, you can always tighten it. Yeah. If um, like these ones don't have wiggle. Like that birdhouse one? Yeah, yeah, so, but that's just my preference and I just figured I'd, I'd do that for you. But So we're going to get these other ones done here quickly. Oh yeah, and you always want to make sure that uh, the shield's on the outside. The shield would be the colored side, right? Yeah. Where you don't see the little balls. Yeah, where you, yeah. You don't, and it's just, technically you don't need the shield, it's just to protect the bearings. Oh, yeah. Um, I honestly, after I skate them for about a week, I will actually take the wheels off. I'll pop the shields off. Oh. Because I find it, they go faster. They go faster with they the shields off? They go faster with the shields off, yeah. Huh, I'll keep that in mind. Yeah, so just keep that in mind for later. I found this was probably the easiest way to do the bearings because I used to try to do them by hand or use like a tool and it would just it would warp them. Because you don't want to press on the shield, you want to press on the outer ridge. Oh, okay. Because what happens if you're pressing your bearings you want to press on the outer shield mm -hmm. and the inner shield. Because if you press rib. on the shield, it'll squip. Or I mean the, the lip, yeah, the, the rim. Because if you press on the inside, what happens is that you'll actually damage the bearing mm -hmm. and it, it, it'll just be garbage. So that's where you want to press it even flat. And that's what uh, a lot of people don't realize. I didn't know that actually. Yeah. Because even if I press this tool in right here and just went bang, it's going to damage that shield, and it's going to damage all those little balls. And then your wheel's not going to smooth, uh, yeah, it's not smooth. Not going to be very smooth. Yeah, or fast. Alright, so the board's complete. We got the, the board completely done here. We got the birdhouse, mini logo, bones, uh, wheels, bones, bearings. Got the graphics on the inside. Looks amazing. Look at that. These things, look at that. I didn't even have to add any lube or oil to that. Look at that. It just spins. Oh. It's crazy. And that is like, they haven't even been tested or broken in yet because you got to break your bearings and stuff too so yeah and you got some cool stickers and yeah that's pretty dope let me know what you guys think of the setup all right so i got the board all finished completed hope you guys enjoyed the setup buddy nico here he's the one that ended up getting it hey what's up yeah so since he ended up buying it you know i'm all about giving back i'm also going to give him a community board shop to represent so here you go homie thank Yo, you i'm getting hooked up yeah dude and you get some stickers too you get some heart mind soul you got save the bees some community save the bees and dude. some leftover punisher for you yeah. <laughs> i'll put it on a board i don't like there you go yeah. <laughs> so there you go you guys know where to go if you guys are in surrey like i said we can do custom orders like all that stuff chad wasn't will hook here. you up man he knows his shit yeah that stuff wasn't even here we just had to look online you know played with the numbers gave him a good deal you guys you know come down here give you a good deal cash whatever hit me up 